All right. Well, uh, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about melee. You want to talk about melee? So I want to talk about melee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, Super Smash Brothers uh, uh, four for Wii U. I always say four um, is was on Saturday, and melee was on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Sunday at one. Um, just gonna mention viewer counts real quick, actually, because holy crap, uh, melee was second of the whole weekend, and it mm-hmm. was the first game to break. 200,000 for Evo. Yeah. Which was really yeah. cool. So it was like 202 or something. Yeah. And then I think, yeah. And then I think Street Fighter was 209, 209,000. Um, I, I think it helps to be at the end of the day, too, because it definitely does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Street yeah. Fighter will always have that spot. You, I, you can't take it away from yeah, that. And yeah. And I think yeah, like yeah. Street, Street Fighter at Evo will always be the most viewed thing. I don't think yeah. there's any doubt in my mind oh, that that's yeah, the case. Absolutely. Um, but I. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the beginning of Evo, you know what I mean? Because that's one interesting thing is that Marvel vs. Capcom got like 160,000, and it was after lie. Melee. And it was after Melee. People dropped out. At, it's pretty obvious to me that there are a lot of people that are really getting just into Melee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It used to be that they would watch whatever fighting game was on, but mm-hmm. now we're definitely seeing a lot of people like not Exclusivity. Nah, I really want to watch Melee. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then obviously a lot of people tuning in for Street Fighter, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it was it was definitely the biggest game uh, this year, just mm-hmm. in terms of everything. Mm-hmm. Numbers, prize pool, viewers. Like, <laughs> Street Fighter was the biggest. But oh, yeah. Melee is definitely close behind. Yeah. And the fact that it's a 15-year-old game is pretty cool. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so. for sure. So, you know, honestly, as a whole... I would say top thirty-two is more exciting than top eight. Um, yeah, I I think I would generally agree with that. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy. So we'll just run through the top eight real quick. So first, uh, the, the Armada won, yay! Which <laughs> he which was he, awesome. He my, really he I, really deserved it. I think <laughs> just he puts like, in a lot of work. Yeah, and he's definitely one of the most consistent. But yeah. he's, he's never he's always gotten right there and he's never gotten first. He's really. been yeah. number two mm-hmm. for years. And I mean yeah. he well he has gotten first, I shouldn't say that, but he's never like, Yes, I want <laughs> Apex and then I'm on top for six months or whatever. Yeah. Like he's yeah. never been that way. So it was really cool to see him to see him win Evo. I think if uh I I, I wanted either Armada or PPMD to win. Right. And uh, Armada was kind of first. So I was really excited to see him win. Yeah. Um, second was Hungry Box. Hungry Box gets second at a lot of tournaments. It's what mm-hmm. I've learned. <laughs> um, he kind of frustrated me this weekend a little bit because yeah. he yeah. was trying. He was trying to play campy, yeah. and sometimes it worked, mm-hmm. and sometimes it didn't. And the times it didn't, I was like, "Dude, get off the ledge! <laughs> you're not doing anything, and you're not helping yourself." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you you watch the Mango match where he basically kills himself and twice, like, and then all comes all the way back. Yeah, he gets the two stock lead, and then Hungry Box Camp it does nothing for him, and then they're even again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I mean Armada, like they, you know, the, uh, Scar and Toff, the commentators were talking a, a little bit about this when him and Armada were playing their first set, mm-hmm. and well, first set were they winners finals? I can't remember. They they were talking about it at one point, but he was he would just laser. Hunger Rocks camping lunch, he would just laser, mm-hmm. and then he'd catch him with a detail. Mm-hmm. And there's not really anything he can do with the way he's camping because he's not fair planking. He's not he's not just doing the fair over and over again, which yeah. I think is invincible. He's doing the back air ledge one. And you're getting, oh. and he gets caught by a detail and he dies. And mm-hmm. it's like, okay, so what was your plan, Hungry Rocks? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's interesting. I I didn't know he wasn't utilizing that. I, di- I didn't realize yeah, I'm that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's an invincible plank for Jigglypuff, and that's the fair. It's where you just mm-hmm. do fa- you jump off the ledge and do fair over and over again. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's invincible. It's like the Sheik Uppy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, but Hungerbox wasn't doing that, and he just got caught by stuff, and he would die, and I'm like, why are you... Yeah. You're not playing your play style, because Hungrybox over the past couple of years is kind of foregone playing that campy play style yeah. when it's not working to going in and he making he's it work. shown amazing results yeah incredible yeah. results i don't know it's just weird um yeah. 
But uh, but third was PPMD, and that was the heartbreaking part was watching PPMD lose to Hungry Box. Yeah, because he just got really close, but Hungry Box just knew. Yeah, I kind of expected it because it's not the best matchups, but mm-hmm. yeah. And I mean, I think mm-hmm. I it was weird too because I was thinking I was as I was watching it. I think Paul, you were the one to say it's like he's learning it, but he didn't have enough time. The Marth Peach match or the Marth Puff matchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like you could tell like halfway through that match, it was like PBD was like, okay, all right, I'm starting to feel a little comfortable, but it was almost too late. Yeah, and he lost. Yeah. The the thing I noticed most was like comparing PP. PP uh, Apex to PP Evo is uh, when he finally got to the Hungry Box matchup. I guess he didn't play Hungry Box at Apex, huh? But like, they oh, I guess. yeah, he he had moments where like he got beat by something and he had that like okay collecting data kind of face. Right. But when he was fighting Hungry Box, yeah. he looked so dang frazzled. Yeah, you know? he, he was really- like he was like all red, sweating like ruffling his hair mm-hmm. all over kind of thing and you yeah. know I, I, I personally didn't realize uh, Hungrybox was kind of a weakness for him but I guess it makes sense huh? it makes sense because yeah. like the Falco Puff matchup's not particularly yeah. good for Falco because there's yeah, I mean he combos Puff better than any other Falco definitely but yeah. that's hard to keep up and once you're off the ledge it's it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it, like one, yeah. One misread, it, it's it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, out of the top tiers, Falco has one of the worst recoveries. Mm-hmm. I think he does. Yeah. Yeah. Just sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I I wanted to see PV. I honestly, by the time I saw what the top eight was going to be, I was actually predicting PPMD and Armada Grand Finals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. And I wanted that to happen so badly, and we were so close. Yeah. But Hungrybox just, he is really good. That's the thing that, that frustrates me is I, I don't particularly dislike Hungrybox at all. I actually think he's a pretty, uh, yeah, like he's an okay guy. And yeah. his play style normally is not super campy. Yeah, and, and he it. pulls off some ridiculous stuff. He pulls stuff. off some really cool stuff. But yeah. the, the thing of it is, is he was really, really... He really wanted to win mm-hmm. Evo this year, yeah. and the campiness was an act of desperation. And I don't think, I don't think he needed it, right? Personally, yeah. yeah. It might have. I, I'm thinking his mindset might have been to to break the pace of the opponent, like the right. fast-paced Fox. Like he would try to like, kind of ruin the rhythm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's that's the best bet I can. Uh, that's the best guess I can. Yeah, I definitely get that. Um, yeah. Besides, like, not even a timeout, but just a frustration factor yeah. and then diving in kind of thing. Yeah. That that makes sense, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, I don't know, hungry box. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, they come second, so I guess yeah. he gets he, something, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's good. He's oh, yeah. No, good. he's yeah. – he, I mean, he's an incredible player. He really is. And I was, I was happy for him, honestly. I mean, yeah, he played – Really, really campy, but I think in that last grand final, in grand finals especially, Armada and Hungry Box, he wasn't playing campy because I think he realized it wasn't working. Yeah, so he yeah. started going in a lot more, and it was a much more entertaining matchup. And then Armada looked like the one who was camp, who was camping, because Armada <laughs> wouldn't approach at that point. Armada, really Armada hasn't in- basically invented a new like meta, Fox versus Puff. You know, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen like lasering to that degree or pre- precision before. You know, against Puff. Uh, not to that precision. I mean, lasering is definitely the game plan. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. been the game plan for a while, but he's yeah. just really good at it. Yeah. It's what it he, looks like. He barely makes it look like camping. Yeah. Because it's not yeah. just like on one side. He's jumping all around mm-hmm. and lasering. Kind yeah. Of thing, which is, yeah. It's really interesting. Mm-hmm. But so, so campy, I guess, technically. No, it is. Definitely. But it's versus Puff. Yeah, you gotta so, do what you gotta do against Puff. <laughs> She's got that rest, right? It's like yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean that's the top three, and that was um, the, some of the more campy matches. Fox Puff, just not super entertaining, but mm-hmm. um, but and in then, fourth is Plup. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I love Who, Plup. <laughs> Uh, eliminate if you're if you're shocked because you're just hearing this this list now. I don't know why you would just be hearing this, but if you're just hearing this, yes, uh, Lefty Mango are not 
uh, in the top four. And Plup actually eliminated Leffen. Yeah, it's very surprising. In fifth. So yeah, Leffen and Mango were fifth. They tied for fifth. Um, and and Plup <laughs> played against Leffen and actually put, picked Samus, mm-hmm. which I wasn't expecting. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Well, actually, he beat, he has beaten Leffen with Samus before at, at right. the tournament. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I I personally wasn't too surprised, but I it, felt it, like it, it, threw, it threw Leffen a bit off. Like, yeah. He, it definitely not definitely. used to beating Samus. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, like, that's been a thing for Leffen for a while, I think, is... is, is it's he, a good he has trouble against play. Right, he has trouble against Samus because... Yeah. There are, I, I guess, there just aren't a lot of Samus players in Europe. Um, but I thought for sure, oh, Leffen will be ready for it now, and he'll he'll understand and he'll know the matchup and he'll, he will have thought of it. So there, why would Plop go Samus right now? Because yeah. Leffen's had so long to think about the matchup, mm-hmm. and then we got into it, and I went, oh, Leffen hasn't thought about the matchup at all. Okay, <laughs> here's here's my wild theory about this. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. What is it that? We, we did uh, hear that he was preparing for Plup at Apex, right. but he never ran into him, and Plup got eliminated early. And after that, we see, we started seeing a lot of Plup Sheik. Right. We didn't uh-huh. see that much Plup Samus like really anywhere. To the point. He was utilizing Sheik for all the different matchups. I really doubt this is on purpose, but if so, it would be freaking ingenious to go through... A bunch of tournaments and chic <laughs> just to prepare to yeah. surprise Levin with Samus at Evo. I know. I mean, to get him weirdly comfortable. So I, I don't he know. kept his Samus up to snuff, and he pulled off two amazing combos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in one match, uh, the last match, and I mean, really, the guy—he's the best Samus in the world. I mean, I, I really yeah. like. He didn't even play that much this weekend. And his Sheik isn't bad. He, his no. Sheik is awesome. Sheik is really He's good. only played for like a few months and his muse, his movement is so gorgeous. It's really good. It's so yeah, sexy. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, even, oh, well, speaking of Sheik, did you guys watch Drugged Fox? Oh! Yes. <laughs> That's Tech Chase. Oh my goodness. Right? His So his reaction to Tech Chasing is really good. I mean, that's where I see... Because I haven't seen a Sheik do that since Mewtwo King for that's, a while. Yeah. And that's what that's basically what everyone's been saying. Yeah. You know, he's and, like M2K 2.0. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, really, like, Mewtwo King, I don't think he even does it by reaction. I just think he guesses. And he guesses right most of the time. Because he's just played so much. Yeah, but I feel like Drug Fox was really, like, actually... Like he was reacting to the way they were tech rolling. That's yeah. incredible. That was if you're a- if you're actually doing that and doing it consistently right the whole time. Yeah. Holy crap. Um. um yeah, I really wanted to see him go far, like farther, but he um, came so close. Uh, yeah. yeah. He really I was hoping didn't. he'd be Leffen, but then uh huh, he was close, but yeah, I feel like he kind of choked a little. Yeah. What well, wasn't he up by two? Like two to one, uh, or was that two stocks to one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think he was. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, Leffen was also he turned it up during yeah, that, during that last game. Yeah, yeah. He he's definitely getting good at the clutch. He's one of those players who always like worries you, but for the most part, brings it back at the end. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Definitely. Um. But so like, I mean, right. Sorry. Uh, I was just going to say one more thing about Plup is, like, I think he might be the next god killer. Yeah, I think he's... Uh, yeah, actually. Mm-hmm. I think if he can stay this consistent mm-hmm. yeah, um, and really get his tech chases down and everything, yeah. I, I, I can see it, for sure. Yeah. Which um, god has he, like, kill, like beaten? Uh, um, well, he's al- so he's almost beaten... Just being left and now what twice with Samus, mm-hmm. yeah, and then he got really close against Mango. Oh yeah. Um, so I think he did. I think he didn't definitely, beat Mango. I don't think so. Who beat Mango in top thirty-two? Oh, was that Plup? I want to say it was Plup. Ah, uh, you might be right. Maybe Plup was the one to send him to losers. Oh wait, was it? Yeah, I think, I think you might be right. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait. No, Plup beat Leffen though. He beat him twice. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Hungry Box took Left into Losers. Oh, yes, okay. he did uh, in top thirty-two. Yeah, and I think in top thirty-two, Plump sent Mango to Losers. I think you might be right. Yeah, oh, okay. Which is crazy. Yeah, so okay. I guess he has beaten both M- M- Leffen and Mango. That's pretty impressive. That is impressive. Do you guys want to talk about Mango a little bit? <laughs> sure. So, <laughs> tied for fifth, Leffen and Mango, the Buster crew. Uh, they went out, man. And Okay, mm-hmm. so Hungrybox beats, Hungrybox beats Leffen. It was pretty close, but uh, Leffen just looked like he was like, oh, God, I yeah. can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um, and so he goes into to losers, and Mango kind of did the same thing against, I'm pretty sure it was Puff. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then the minute just... they were in losers, I was like, okay, so they're going to have to meet super early if mm-hmm. they beat their respective people. Right. So one of them's going out already, and I just had a feeling it was Mango. Yeah. Mango just did not look like he was ready fully, and... I don't know. It's so tough with him because I'm like, other times I'm like, oh, Mango does not look ready. And he comes on Sunday and destroys everyone. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's happened so many times. Yeah. Yeah. Watching him play is like a roller coaster. You just don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> yeah. Either he just, like, it works. His aggressiveness works. and Or he just suicides. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, exactly. I thought, I thought he was just going to suicide the rest of his stocks and just give up. But he, he, right. he brought it back, which is, mm-hmm. I was like, wow. But um, that that was man, just heartbreaking to see. You know, I'm know. I'm sorry to say, but it it just doesn't look like he's keeping up anymore with Armada and Leffen. <sighs> yeah. yeah, Armada and Leffen really do like they're the two forefronts right now. And then if PPMD can start coming to more tournaments i think he's gonna be up there too yeah um, he says he's planning to do yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah armada and leffen are just two on point and mango does not practice the fox ditto enough mm-hmm. to that level i mean these yeah. two foxes are the two best foxes in the world right now right mm-hmm. and down. so like he needs to he needs to focus on that and i mean all around the 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 justin wong factor of like these people, but I would say especially Mango, is kind of disappearing, you know. It, I, I feel like a lot of the it works because these Mango factors are being slowly eliminated, you know. Yeah, I think that might be true. Like, he can just he, he can just do it because he's Mango and it'll work. <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen a lot of moments, I think you have a point, I've seen a lot of moments this tournament and the last couple tournaments where I'm like, why did he do that? When in because it didn't work mm-hmm. because in another situation when it would have worked I I would have been like wow that's genius yeah right but he did it and he died and I went why the hell would you do that <laughs> yeah yeah so exactly. the, the the meta is moving beyond that style you know? I think and I think you know you can still do that I think but it it's like Mango does it too much yeah he yeah. he's kind of stuck in his ways I I maybe we can see a new Mango. But one thing, just a life lesson, you know, it, you have to learn the rules to know how to break them. And new rules keep coming. Yeah. But he, he only knew, a, he only like had a solid foundation of a lot of rules, but now not all of them kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, saw, I, mm-hmm. oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, I saw a video where Leffen uh, was critiquing one of Mango's matches and then he pointed out a lot of like uh, unoptimal choices that he made such as like when he was uh, facing it was uh, Mango versus West Balls and then mm-hmm. Mango was Falco and he would keep ledge hopping on back on the stage with lasers even when like West Ball shield was out already and it feels and it looks like Mango was he was impatient, I guess. Like he's so used to the aggressive playstyle that sometimes, I guess, he he didn't put the thought in thought before the uh, before he executed the move. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that could be a problem. Mm-hmm. And I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think Mango is that kind of player. Absolutely, I really do. I I feel like I have seen him doing more laser stuff recently to try and. I don't know. I I can't say for sure, but maybe to try and just like adopt the newer, some newer, more precise styles mm-hmm. kind of things. But yeah. it's just not him, you know. 
and yeah. you could see him being really uncomfortable with it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was kind of unfortunate to see both of them like go out that early, but Plup beating him was amazing. Plup beating Leffen was amazing. Yeah. Not, yeah. Oh my god, I, we need more of that. Um, oh god. But, I'll leave it to no, know the best match was the Yoshi story one. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> oh god. It's just so vanished. good. It vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was crazy. It the was brought it back. It was scary. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. just really strange to watch Samus, in my opinion, because <laughs> like he wasn't particularly fast or like super technical, in my opinion. But like yeah. he he just seemed to know everything. Lef- what Leffen was gonna do, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, he knows that matchup so well. He yeah, copies Firefox so well too. Oh Very God, yeah, yes. that was, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I mean, rounding out top eight, uh, Axe was seventh. So Axe did really well, um, but he started out top 32. He was in winners and he lost to Hugs immediately. Yeah. And Hugs was playing really well this tournament. I mean, this was his tournament to get top eight for sure. And we'll talk about that in a second. But this was his tournament to get top eight. Hugs looked really good. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. honestly, Axe did not look good yeah i mean he's definitely played against samus before Mm -hmm. yeah he knows what to do yeah absolutely Um, so it was kind of unfortunate to see him go into losers that early and i felt like he recovered and he rallied and he got to top eight and then he kind of went all right that's enough (laughs) you don't think he played well against leffen i think he did Mm -hmm. no all right yeah i guess you're right he did he did play well against leffen um I just want him to break through it. I really want him to break it's, through it. It's just yeah, really me, hard. Of cause... course, of course, because he's the Pikachu. He's the Arizona. But yeah. It's, it's so weird <laughs> watching X because, like, it's a good point. Like, when when he lost to Hugs, I remember you saying and getting really frustrated. He's like, he does this every time. <laughs> he gets so good for so long, and then he just drops something kind right. of thing. You like know? in Apex, he went out way early. Yeah, it's it's weird, you know. It It seems like... I don't know, maybe in almost a Leffen kind of style, he's always getting in clutch with like, yeah. whether he wins or loses kind of things. He's always getting in clutch. And when it comes to the clutch time, he does some like awesome stuff, but yeah. that doesn't work all the time, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it, tough. Yeah, he needs to he needs to learn to hone in his zone, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely true. But I don't know, he's he's still an awesome player. No, no, yeah. definitely, and I yeah. really think mm-hmm. if he can continue, I mean, he just needs to go to tournaments. I mean, all these guys now have really good sponsors. I mean, I'm talking; these are like the some of the best and premier esports teams. Mm-hmm. When you look at this top eight, it's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> yeah, um, that's and that's that's cool because then that means people like Axe oh, wow. are going to be able to go. Yeah. Yeah. To, to the to every tournament. Hopefully. Yeah, he need he needs to really travel, you know. Right, and I think he and I think he will. I really do. Think yeah, he will. yeah, he's really been dedicating himself this last year, and yeah. I I was talking to my brother about it, and like what I kept saying was like he's very very close, but not quite there yet. Give it another year, he'll he'll be one of these contenders for mm-hmm. the throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, um, which we might be able to say for a lot of these, like, top people. Yeah. Yeah, anyone's game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it really is. Because, like, that's that's another thing that was really interesting. Probably my favorite thing about Top 32 was, like, all the gods were clinging to life by a stock in certain matches. Yeah. Yeah, kind of thing. it's true. So um, has that mentality to pull through. Right. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Whereas in a year ago, like we would have said to almost all these matches, it's like, oh, this guy has it. Yeah. Right. It's no yeah. competition kind of thing. Well, okay. but also keep in mind that everything's two out of three. That's so true. Mm-hmm. That definitely changes a little bit of these matchups in top mm-hmm. 32. Mm-hmm. Um, more in favor of the underdog, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. In almost every case. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah. Just gods constantly adapting kind of thing. Well, there's a little bit more time to adapt, but also there's a uh, uh, more time to get your 
rhythm bands and counter picks in order. Right. Because in you know, two out of three matches, there's really not a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Who, who who wins the first match yeah. controls the momentum. Right. So, I mean, it's it's two out of three is definitely a different beast. But um, a lot of the – I mean, it's not to say that these players don't deserve it. I mean, yeah, look at the top eight. It's like, yeah, okay, that's a normal top eight. So it's not like two out of three is completely insane, except – for the fact that Jude had us in there. <laughs> Dude, all these old school people. <laughs> I know. Right. That's amazing. So, Chuda was was playing really well. He has actually ended up being the one that knocked Hugs out to get mm-hmm. into top 8. That was heartbreaking cuz Hugs had it. He yeah. had it. Um and then one Dude, match I got, got, I actually didn't watch that match. What happened? He had two two he it was two stocks to one against a Sopo. Oh yeah, my God. and he lost it. Mm-hmm. Really? Wow. He lost yeah. two stocks to Chudat. And Chudat played really well. Yeah. Like, he I mean, knew when to throw up the forward smashes and down smashes. Uh-huh. But yeah. still, I was like, oh, no. And I mean, Hugs. Hugs, Hugs didn't do, like, one, like, suicidal move kind of, like, mistake. But right. he, he could have taken it. He could have. Oh, there's so many opportunities yeah. to get to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was that was kind of upsetting. Because I, I would like to, I would have liked to see Hugs. What's the uh, history of Hugs and Chudat, like, way back in the day? I don't know, honestly. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I feel was, like that Chudat was... was definitely better. Chudat was, like... Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I was, yeah, I was yeah. thinking maybe, like, oh, old memories, you know, it brings up that <laughs> yeah. kind of thing, you know? Kind of like the hold Ken has over Asin kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ideally, people talk about. Right. Uh-huh. And freaking Ken got really far, too. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So let's just talk a little bit about top 16, because top 16 is crazy. So the rest of the top 16 is Ice, Pew Pew Hugs, Drugged Fox, which we talked about a little bit earlier, mm-hmm. uh, Ken, Liquid Ken, excuse me, <laughs> Lucky, Tempo, West Balls, and Duck. So yeah, that was uh, that's a cool top 16. So two, two Samuses. In top sixteen, uh, two Samus mains in top sixteen, yeah, mm-hmm. and another one that played Samus and Sheik. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. For sure. Sh- tell us something about Samus. <laughs> tell us there's something up with Samus. Yeah, I, I mean, when you're character, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're if you're not ready for Samus, I think you get wrecked. Yeah, yeah. is what it looks like. She's very strange compared to other, mm-hmm. like most of the sure. characters you see. So yeah. Um. Yeah, Drug Fox played amazing. Ice is a really, really good player. He has been playing... Okay, so I was going to say second fiddle, but I guess it's third fiddle to Armada and Leffen in Europe for a while now. Uh-huh. But he has mm-hmm. consistently been a really, really good player. And he was... He he contended pretty well against Mango. He did. I think. Yeah. yeah. And against all these other players, he can, he can absolutely destroy people if they're not ready for him. Yeah. yeah um, so... Ice is a really good player. PPU is excited to see. I actually thought this top eight would be kind of like this, but replace Chudat with PPU. That's what I thought this top eight would be. Mm-hmm. Um, Chudat was obviously the strange pick. He came out of nowhere. It was like, whoa, Chudat. Yeah. <laughs> um, but PPU played still really well. Um, and I think he's going to go far if he keeps practicing Marth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of Fox players are not ready for Marth. A really good Marth. They still get wrecked. Yeah, the, I guess because there are there are still a lot of foxes. Oh yeah. So like they're For just sure. kind of in that mindset mm-hmm. still. Yeah. Yeah, if you you got so much better. It's really interesting to see him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but lucky. So Ken, Ken, uh, West Balls. That was kind of. I thought West what, Balls would place higher actually. So 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 did I, and I that's. Yeah, that was one of the things, like... I never know what to think of West Balls. <laughs> I, I was thinking he's a little... Sometimes a little more inconsistent. So I was thinking two out of three, maybe he wouldn't make it that far. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wasn't... I wasn't, like... Wrong, I guess? But at the same time, I saw him play, and I was like, oh, he, I think he can, he can do really well. And surprisingly, yeah. he got knocked into losers really early by Ken. Yeah. And... Then came all the way back to top sixteen, I think. So, mm-hmm. I mean, West Ball still played really well. Um, I just, I don't know, man. Sometimes, sometimes with West Balls, you're just like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Do you, so, I mean, what do you think about like Ken and 
chewed at and Azen got pretty high too. It's just Yeah, and hugs. Like when I look at Kin, it's it's definitely strange and I'm almost thinking um of a like like it's so old that it's new kind of mentality <laughs> kind of well what do you guys think of his play uh i actually didn't watch much of ken oh, okay so yeah i mean i was just gonna say like a little bit from what i've seen it definitely seems like he's same old ken like he does side b stuff and mm-hmm. i'm like oh ken yeah that's side b stuff <laughs> yeah but uh sometimes he'll be on platform and he'll just shield drop effortlessly into mm-hmm. a great combo, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of a different Ken. Yeah. A little bit of yeah. a different Ken. And sometimes I see, I see, sometimes he just does it, and I'm like, wow, I, that combo was really crisp and just sparks a new innovation. Right. Kind of like, thing. there's some stuff like that. And I think that's why he got so far is that he was really. It's a board. little combination of both. I think so. He, he like, I, I don't know, maybe like now his eyes can follow a lot of the new stuff and he still kind of works in his old styles where people won't expect things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that might be true. <laughs> it would be crazy to see him in like top eight. Oh God. Right? Like, all times again. The return of the king. <laughs> yeah, the he was so king. close. He was so close. And we saw you dad in top. I can believe it. I can believe anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be- yeah it's possible. <laughs> and I mean, he's been playing pretty consistently in SoCal. I think it's SoCal. Um, and he's on their power rankings, and I mean, if uh, I wouldn't doubt that he's getting enough practice. Oh yeah, to come and, in and really wreck people. I, I mean, the thing is with the sponsoring now, like you're saying, just being sponsored gives you a big advantage to practice and go to right. a lot of tournaments mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. And, no, like Ken hasn't that been that good for a while compared to a lot of players, but he'll always have a sponsor because he's freaking famous. Yeah, you know? that's yeah. true. <laughs> it's like, whether we like it or not, we're going to be interested in tuning into Ken, mm-hmm. even if he's in, like, top, like, 50 or 60 right. compared to other people in yeah. top 50 or yeah. 60 yeah, kind of thing, true. you know? Yeah, that's true. Um, so take advantage of it, man. <laughs> Get back up. Yeah, there. travel. <laughs> yeah. Um. Lucky, top 16, not really that surprising. Really, really good Fox. Mm -hmm. Uh, He played really well. Uh, West Balls, obviously, kind of brought it back a little bit after getting knocked out. I thought he was going to go out early after he got knocked down that Mm -hmm. early. Who did did knock him out? uh, I don't know who knocked him out, but knocked him into losers was Ken. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ken. Was it Ken for losers? I think it was Ken for losers. But I don't know. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know who actually knocked... West Ball's out. I don't know who they, uh, who he played. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, then, and then Doc, another Samus. Mm-hmm. With that. <laughs> Sweet. So, yeah. so many Samuses. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you just got, I mean, in, in the rest of the bracket, in the rest of the top 32, you just have, oh, you know, a lot of Foxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Like, if you look at it, it's, it's kind of crazy. So, Fly Amanita, Ice Climbers, obviously. And then you have Santiago, S Fat, Hat, Silent Wolf, Yavi, <laughs> um, DJ Nintendo. Like, it, it, yeah, is that it? Okay, so that's it. So it's not as many as I thought, but still, it's like, a lot, like, there's a lot of boxes. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's, but, it's good that was, there's not, it's not, it's not on top eight, or else it'll, it'll be a problem. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we had three foxes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Acceptable, mm-hmm. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll it's, it. it's less than half yeah. <laughs> progress. Yeah. yeah. As long as PDMD doesn't pick up Fox, we're good. Oh, oh Lord. Lord, please no. <laughs> I want to see him wreck people with Marth, and I think he can. Absolutely. Yeah. And Falco still looks beautiful mm-hmm. and very unique. Yeah. I don't. I don't see Falco's play like his Falco. Yeah. It's it's something to behold. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, um, I guess the last question here before we end is what uh, what are our predictions for the next tournament? Also, when is the next tournament? Super Smash Con, I guess? Oh, I wish I was going to that. <laughs> it sounds like so much fun. If if it has a real con atmosphere and it's not just a tournament, yeah. it'd be so cool. It would be cool. Yeah. So it's a Smash tournament that has, like, that's a that's also a convention. Like yeah, a, it, yeah, it's Super Smash Con. It's a con for Smash Bros. H- have you heard of it? 
Yeah, I think I've seen advertisements of it. So the the idea, the idea is uh, you you there's cosplay involved and there's like merchandise involved and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. And I really there's going to so. be and, yeah. and there's a lot of panels with with a lot of people. There's going to be uh, I know the twenty XX hack pack. The guy who's making it's gonna oh. have a panel and like oh, nice, nice. is he gonna yeah. have the memory card ready for that? Uh, maybe I don't know when the memory card's actually gonna be oh. ready. But I actually have it. It's real. It's really good for training. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. You lucky son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think need- that's how Drug Fox like was so good at the tech chases. Right. It's random. The AI has random teching. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's a yeah. really good way to practice and also our top throw is really good because random D, there's like random DI too. Nice. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to Drugged Fox. Yeah. Like like I said, I think he's going to fill a void Mewtwo King has kind of left. <laughs> yes, he is. he's taking up the torch. <laughs> the new robot. The new robot. <laughs> <laughs> there was a... Uh, uh, I, for, I forget the artist's name, uh, but there was a, a picture someone drew of Drugged Fox and half his face is torn and it's Mewtwo King's face under oh it. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> like Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. It was really yeah. cool. But it, I think I think the thing I'm looking forward to most is just um, just seeing all these like uh, just bit of under players just really finally take that final step into the top level. Yeah. Because I think come next Evo, like it, to me personally, I think the the age of the five gods is over, and mm-hmm. come next Evo, yeah, we're gonna have like maybe at least ten people who are viable yeah. for the throne. For sure, it's like a it's like a it's like a new season of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a really really good way to put that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so How cool. could they kill off Mango? Yeah. Was <laughs> so he was cool. my favorite. Leffen, Leffen just, he, he, he beheaded him. <laughs> Death Stark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Joffrey, yeah. he came in and just. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leffen's King Joffrey. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, I think Armada's looking really, really good. Uh, but yeah. I think Leffen and PPMD, um, and definitely still Mango and Hungrybox too, honestly, can come in and beat him at pretty much any time still. Um, but w- the thing I think is going to be the, the game changer is his confidence. And if his confidence really does carry through... For Mango? No, for Armada. Oh. Uh, if his confidence really does carry through, he's like, I'm the Evo champ. You know, Mango can coast on that. And he, mm-hmm. he really makes that work. Like, he's he is very confident yeah. player. If Armada can do the same thing, you know, that might be a big thing in the coming months is nobody he, can really just, touch him. He just needs a portion of that confidence, and he mm-hmm. has the consistency to back it up. Mm-hmm. He'll yeah. be unstoppable. Yeah. Mango? Yeah. Mango. Uh, we're talking about Armada. Armada, yeah. Yeah. Armada. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think, I think he's finally risen to hold to hold the top for a little bit, at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, Lef- so. Leffen is also another crazy beast, you know. Mm-hmm. he He's uh, he's inconsistent, but when he's on, he's, like, you can't understand what he's doing. <laughs> he's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely tell he practices a lot, for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, with, with his sponsoring going on, like, you yeah. like that's only going to increase it. And did you guys see they're going to have like a little movie for him? Yeah, the, which, the I actually thought was, which I actually thought was really cool. I'm glad yeah. that TSM is doing that, dude. I bet we're going to see a lot more of that. Probably. What's the video for? It's uh, it's I guess like a TSM mini documentary. Yeah, TSM oh, is making nice. it just following Mango's like Leffen, 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 uh, his road to Evo, basically. Oh, nice, nice. That's yeah. Cool. So it like follows him around Evo and stuff. Yeah. So, wow, but it's pretty cool. And speaking of documentaries, we now have the perfect ending to uh, the the Smash Brothers movie. Oh yeah, with Armada Hungry Box and uh, was he PP. following him around during Evo? During Evo, I'm not sure, but gosh dang it, he has to make it a part of it. Yeah, even if he stopped before, it's like yeah. dude, you have to add, at yeah. least add this in. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, ugh, 
it's a, it, it's a good time for melee. It's it's been good times for melee for a few years. Now. It really has. Yeah. I'm really looking. I mean, the storylines are getting even better and better mm-hmm. as this goes on. And now we have an even even more interesting hierarchy going on here, which is that a lot of people are able to take sets off these guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and the fact that PBMD is back too, I right? Think like helps that back, a lot. back. Yeah, yeah. You know the uh, I'm sure the apex like. Uh, him not being around mystery thing kind of helped for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like at this point he needs practice, you know, Armada and Leffenar getting so good. Yeah. Like every single, every single like tournament they go to, you could see them just rising levels, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're getting too good at this point. (laughs) If PPMD won again, then I'd be questioning, or like, I guess a lot of top players would be questioning, Hmm, maybe, not attending tournaments is the way to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, right. no, no more streaming. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out of nowhere, wins Apex, come out of nowhere, win Evo. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's true. And then every all the top players just disappear for months at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, so this in between time is a lot less exciting. <laughs> now there's all the information everyone has been giving him. Yeah. All the seriously. tournaments, and then he just studies it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but I mean, the roulette thing definitely came into effect. I guess to a degree, like Hungrybox kind of plowed through, but reaching PP, I guess it shows that Hungrybox is kind of a weakness of his. Yeah, just sure. being a more like weird emotional yeah. player. Yeah, like, I, I, I think you said that he rides so much on emotions, and yeah. it's just so unorthodox. It's it's not like good for PP's data gathering kind of. I thing. think so. Yeah, I really do. Now, I think do Armada you... like three would PP too? Yeah, he did. Oh yeah, that was pretty sure. dominating that's, win. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing is like even with the announcers, and... you could tell PPMD was doing good stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he was right. trying to do good stuff, but he just got steamrolled. Yeah, he was, he wasn't looking bad, but mm-hmm. Armada's just been ahead of the curve. Yeah, too good. and like I, yeah, it's it's a good it's a good wake up call for him. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like it's time to like actually practice. Yeah. Well, I mean. The research thing is freaking brilliant, and to see him get as far as he did was incredible. Yeah, for sure. without like being out there, but like you, you need the hands experience. You know, mm-hmm. your eyes can your your eyes don't always match your hands. It's true, definitely. The life of an aspiring true. Smash player. The life of an <laughs> aspiring Smash player. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. All right. Well, we also okay. So we also want to hear what you guys think about. Evo and the freaking craziness because it's it was awesome. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, it really was. It was it was a good tournament. It was. Um sure. so yeah, uh let us know what you guys think about not just opi- our opinions, but what what you guys would think is gonna happen going forward. Yeah, the future smash. It's yeah, it's a whole hunk of mystery in my opinion. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's so exciting. Yeah. So um, so much. <laughs> yeah, it really has. So let us know. You can find us at facebook.com slash fanvoice podcast, youtube.com slash the fanvoice podcast, Twitter at fanvoice podcast, google.com slash plus the fanvoice podcast, uh, our email fan at the fanvoice.com, and the fanvoice.com. And you can just also catch Ambrose at yes. youtube.com slash, is it just slash my, my smash corner? Yep, just my Smash Corner. Excellent, where he awesome. does incredible tutorials yes. of just all the uh, different... Um, Texan and Smash 4. Yeah, and Texan and Smash 4. The, he's keeping up with all the DLC characters and just mm-hmm. like all, all the mm-hmm. different things. You, you're still coming out with amazing stuff, Ambrose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. You. <laughs> and you're also on a, a new channel called Squid Kids, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, we're, we're, uh, it's a... Uh, it's a custom URL, so I, I can't really say what it is. But yeah, the channel is called Squid Kids, and it's uh, with a, another two friends, and we basically make tutorials on Splatoon and Splatoon. text as well. So you guys can check that out if you want. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's like also amazing tech videos. Yeah, it's a cool Splatoon channel. for Evo 2015 16. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not the right genre. Yeah, I was like, oh, Apex. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> let's let's get it in there. I, I love that game. I love that game. It's so cool. Uh, I'm addicted. <laughs> All right. Well, Ambrose, thank you for coming on. 
this was awesome. We like, always love having you on board. Yeah, here. You. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time for uh, for another Smash Chat or fanboys or or whatever whatever we want. I don't know. What happens. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.